In this series, I'm breaking down machine learning algorithms in the easiest and most practical way possible. This is part four, logistic regression, an algorithm that sounds like regression, but is actually used for classification. So what is logistic regression? Imagine you work at a bank and you need to predict whether a customer will default on a loan. The answer is not a number, like in linear regression, it's a category, yes or no one or zero. That's why logistic regression comes in. Instead of predicting a continuous value, it predicts the probability of something happening. If the probability is higher than 50%, the model says yes, they will default. If it's lower, it says no. So how does it work? Instead of fitting a straight line like linear regression, logistic regression uses a S-shaped curve called sigmoid function to squash all predictions between zero and one. That means that even if the raw prediction is something crazy like 200 or minus 50, it always gets transformed into a value between zero and one, making it perfect for probability-based classification. And so this is used in spam detection, so predicting if an email is spam or not spam, or even in marketing, so predicting if a customer will click on an ad or ignore it. When does it fail? Logistic regression struggles when data is not easily separable into categories. If you're dealing with complex decision boundaries like detecting fraud based on dozens of variables, you might need something more powerful like decision trees or random forest. Follow me for the next part of this series where we will break down another ML algorithm in the simplest way possible.